morning and happy Sunday. So today in our calendars, Owen got a little present. I got a red ball, then we got a mommy hedgehog and a baby hedgehog with an apple. I got cinnamon sticks, which I will give to my friend we're going to for Christmas Eve. I've given her the rest of them because I don't like them. Um. James got... I'm guessing that's a present and that's some like a Christmas Christmas pudding maybe Christmas or pudding, yeah. Yeah. and then the thing yours? is gingerbread uh, chai no that's daddy's because daddy's forgot you have his yesterday so he has yesterday's and two days and this is yours it's not a red ball what do you both daddy's because daddy, daddy didn't have his yesterday and yesterday yesterday mm -hmm. day yesterday and today Okay. And you have yours for today because you already had yours yesterday. Okay? Yeah. So I'm sitting on the couch editing my vlog and this is what is going on. This little guy wants to see me. So there he is. Hello baby. So I'm trying to decide what I am going to bake today. I have a little list I'm going to show you. Hold on. So this is my list with the, hold on. It's the 13 desserts I need. This is the other thing I need to bring with me. The one that are, that are highlighted are already either, like they are already done. I don't have to sort them out. Well, I still need to finish biscuits number two by icing them. But I'm thinking croquant is like biscotti type of things. I'm going to make those for sure. The truffles I want to leave until the 23rd. Clementines I just have to buy. So I think I'm going to make those ones. They are like biscotti. These I'm going to also leave until the 23rd. So I think on the 23rd I'm going to wait to have only the truffles and this to do. So... Uh, I need to do, the pump is like a voyage thing, I need to do a practice run of that today for sure. So I'm going to do that and that, I think. These ones, it's like marzipan with walnuts. I can actually, tonight I'm planning to watch the, um, there is um, um live show, live concert of the Sound of Music on ITV and I want to watch it. So I'm probably going to do those in front of it because I can be sat on the couch with the tray to do those. So I think I'm going to do the brioche and the um, biscotti ones this morning. And then I will do the other ones tonight. And then I'll just have to ice the biscuits, which I will do tomorrow, probably. It feels like so much to do. I know on Tuesday I cannot do much baking. So everything will have to be Wednesday after that and I have therapy in the middle. So it's just, ah, but I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Once I've done another few, it will feel a lot less crazy. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to do that now. The star biscuits are Alfie approved. You like that, baby? You like it? Okay, so the recipe I'm doing is a kind of brioche which is very, very tradi traditional from Provence for Christmas time. It's called pompe à l'huile. It uh, has like loads of different steps, so it's not that hard to make once you get it once. I think you can get it again, but I've only managed it properly once, so I want to make sure it's right. So, in the first bowl, I have yeast, hot water. And flour and I'm gonna leave it my oven is at 30 degrees right now so it's just warm it's not hot and I'm gonna put that in there for 10 minutes to prove for the first time it's gonna prove quite a lot of time throughout the whole thing um, so just 10 minutes and then uh, in this one I'm gonna have flour salt sugar and sometimes you can add any seed you know, the seeds themselves, but I thought it might be a bit too much for people who don't, are not used to those kind of tastes together. Uh, so I'm not going to leave it out. Some you can sometimes you can buy it with it or without. 
And the third one is going to be eggs, olive oil, water, and this, which is um, orange blossom water, basically. Um, it is in a lot of recipes in Provence, and I know a few people here have commented that it tasted like soap. Not in a bad way, but it remained in them of soap because I guess here you have it more in cosmetic stuff than in food. But um, yeah, it is very present. It's going to be in the other recipe I make today too, in the biscottis. Um, so yeah, once this is produced, I'm going to prepare the other two bowls and then I'll continue and I'll, I'll show you the steps for this one because I, it's quite cool to watch. Okay, so this is now um, bigger. So I'm going to put it into the main bowl. It's a bit stuck. Um, it did. It does activate the yeast a little. There's some that's not activated yet, but it will um, activate after whenever it's all proving again, which is going to do a few times. Just going to scrape everything. I have my yeast. A paste kind of thing in my dry ingredients. I'm going to pour all the wet ingredients over and Then I'm going to let the machine do the work for me because usually it's just very physical to do I'm lucky enough to have a dough hook in on this so I am going to make the most of it and use it so I don't Hot my arms. <laughs> now it's proving again in there for another 15 minutes. So the door has risen quite a lot, and now I need to kind of knock all the air out. <laughs> And then I'm going to separate it. It's quite sticky, but I'm going to not going to add anything to it. I'm going to stick to it anyway. Last time it wasn't as sticky, but I'm going to hope it's going to cook anyway properly. Okay, now I'm going to separate it in four and make them the shape I want them to be after and then let them pray for one hour at 30 degrees in the oven. So this is what they look like before they prove just to show you the difference. So I have four and they have an incision uh, like incisions in the middle. Um, you can buy them different shapes but when you buy them that shape they usually have cuts in the middle and yeah so I'm going to put them to prove now for one hour. I just realized that for that hour I can't actually use my oven because I needed to make everything proof so I am going to ice uh, the um, star cookies I have already put in my rejects bag the one that are either bent or burnt or anything. Um, I'm going to leave some not iced because Alfie likes them not iced, and some of the children prefer no icing on them. So I'm going to keep. I'm going to. I think I'm going to keep that part for non iced, and all these ones they are all stacked there quite a lot. Uh, I'm going to ice with chocolate, white chocolate, and I have some milk chocolate and some white chocolate. This white chocolate is the best. So my brioches are now really well risen and I'm now going to cook them, or to bake them really. So now I'm going to have to watch because um, I have to cook them just until they are golden. I'm going to put 20 minutes and see. I've iced all these with white chocolate. I'm going to spray them with gold dust at the end. And the chocolate ones I'm just sticking little white chocolate stars on top still have those to do. I'm going to keep, uh, well these are extras in case I need some. That's the rejects <coughs> and these are the plain uh, stars I'm keeping for Christmas Eve. I'm keeping everything in bags for the minute just to keep them airtight uh, and then I will do, I've bought some platters like those and I will do platters of dessert. But yeah for now I'm going to continue my chocolate and I'm watching a movie called Some Girls. It's actually very good. So my brioche are now baked and I'm going to um, put some olive oil on them now before they cool down. So just brush the oil on them. I'm using uh, just olive oil and a 
baking brush thing. Um, this one is the best looking one. It's the most looking. This one is not bad either. This one didn't rise properly on that part, but because I have the two trays, I think it's probably why. Um, now I'm going to let them cool down completely. They are going to soak the olive oil, and it just gives um, more shiny texture than the matte one. But it's not, it doesn't feel greasy once it's absorbed. Um, so yeah, I don't know how this one is going to be. We'll try. But the good thing with the recipe is that it makes four, and I'm only going to bring maybe one, maybe two for uh, Christmas Eve, and then the other two are for breakfast. Um, when I think of Christmas, uh, from like the traditional Christmas I know, um, there is no Christmas morning breakfast without this. Uh, I used to dunk it in hot chocolate when I was a child, now I more than likely would have it with tea. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is part to me. Um, Christmas morning without this is not Christmas morning. So um, I'm glad I started making them because uh, for quite a while, every other year, I couldn't get those. Uh, you can only buy them in bakeries um, in the south of France, where the region I'm from. Um, at Christmas time, you usually even have to order them in advance because a lot of people want them. So you need to make sure, if you want to make sure you get yours, you order them in advance and you collect them the day before in general but um yeah so um the test really is going to be when i open it will it look right inside they do smell right and they do look right from the outside apart from the one that doesn't didn't rise properly but uh i'm hoping it looks quite promising anyway there's one thing i'm going to change when i make them properly is that uh i made the mistake there of instead of mixing the yeast with the water first and then adding the flour I mixed the yeast with the flour and then added the water so some of the yeast didn't activate straight away so I'm guessing they could rise a little bit more if I did that I change that around next time but it's no big deal they still look right so but I will make the difference next time it will make them op hopefully even better when he's playing a game and he's laughing so much I'm going to try and go and film what he's laughing about Funny. That's so funny. He told me the alien and in the song people go after the Really? Yeah. And somebody the alien. That's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> I see it. This is what my kitchen looks like right now. It's very uh, busy with Emily's more biscuits here, more biscuits here, yeah, probably going to be like that until Christmas. Um, now I'm going to use the gold spray on um, the white chocolate covered stars. I'm going to stop the baking for now, it is quarter past 12 and um, I am going to get ready, well kind of, I'm going to start by writing the card for the christening and I'm going to get dressed, put a bit of makeup on and sort my hair out. Um, it's probably another hour, hour and a half before we have to go but uh, I'm going to slowly do that. James has been, um, well he brought Alfie to bed for his nap around half ten or so and they've been both been sleeping since. So. Um, I'm just letting them catch up on the sleep. And Owen has been playing, watching some videos and all that. Just having a chilling out day really where they get all this baking done. I'm very happy with how much I've done today. I didn't think I would be able to ice the biscuits. I didn't think of the proving time and all that. But that worked out great. So when we come home I will make the biscotti kind of biscuits because the oven will be free. Uh, and then that will be it for today and then the rest I will do maybe some tomorrow if Alfie cooperates it will depend mostly on that or um, some the rest will be done on Wednesday because Tuesday is packed We 
are now off to the christening so probably we'll see you when we come back so we're back from the christening and Owen and Alfie got a big present there for and, Christmas and so and you and so and um Daddy Daddy was Daniel Graham and Emma gave you this didn't they and, and, <coughs> and you and you <laughs> it was a big, so apparently it's a giant box of tissue, they told him. But we check to see if it is. No, but it's supposed to be something now. Right, well, open it and see. What is it, you think? Oh wow! It's Noah's Ark with what? loads of animals. What? It's a really big one. What? We will build it. Yeah, you build it right now. Okay, so it'll take a wee while to build, okay? But we'll Dad, it will help. Well, I'm going to do it because I'm better at building that, aren't I? Yes, Mommy's very good at building these things. Daddy's mm -hmm. going to mind Alfie when I do it, okay? Yeah. Isn't that such a great present? Hold oh, on. You are going to have to make sure you say thank you to Emma and you and uh, Graham. Graham and Daniel too. And baby Daniel too, yeah. So don't go into the camera and say thank you. Thank you. So we're back to the baking and Owen is my little and guinea pig to test and one of those. Brush How is it then? Is it nice? Yeah. Okay. It's Owen approved and it's James approved as well and it's I approve as so well. I am now making uh, some croquant aux amandes which are kind of like biscottis with almonds in them flavoured with orange blossom water. Um, but my eggs were quite small so I'm going to add a fourth one because it's not sticky enough to be able to do what I want to do. I'm going to add an egg now and then Owen will add the almonds inside, won't you? No. You're going to help me? Yeah. So, um, they're going to cook like that, bake like that for about 40 minutes and then I'm going to cut them, slice them and then after that I will bake them again for another 5 minutes so they harden. Made them. Yeah, we made them. Owen helped me with those ones. Yeah. And now we're preparing Owen's backpack to go on the plane after Christmas, aren't we? Yeah. So he's picking which toys he wants to bring and everything like that. Um, and that's all the baking done for today. Thank you for helping me, Owen. That was great. Yeah, so this is how it looks now. It's all baked like for the first session of baking. I'm not going to slice them all. And um, this is quite hard because the almonds are whole almonds and I have to slice through the almonds trying to keep it straight. Uh, but st when it's still hot, it's still a little bit soft inside. And then I will bake them again so that will dry the sides out to make it more like a biscotti. That's all my biscotti is finished. Um, I'm going to let them cool down on the tray on the side so that will the, arch the outer part will dry out. Um, in French they are called croquant, which means crunchy kind of. Yeah. Uh, so they have to be a minimum hard. They do harden as they cool down. Um, Oh yeah, so that's another one done. Um, I'm really getting there now. Well, not getting there, but like I'm on track. Um, I'm very happy with it. Oh, this was all very cute a minute ago. So I'm watching the Sound of Music and the ad break, so I thought I would show you what you need to make uh, the marzipan walnuts. And all you need is marzipan <laughs> and walnuts. <laughs> Um, I usually use the golden one in the in France. You can buy the, the standard one comes with three color: white, pink, and green. And I usually make it with that. But here you can't really get that, so I'm going to use the gold one over the um, natural color, like white one. I just think it's more festive. So, but it doesn't really matter. I just use any kind of marzipan you can find. And then you will need a knife and a plate or a chopping board or something to cut the marzipan in. And basically the first step is to do some little balls of marzipan. 
and I'm just going to show you the next step after that. So there we go, we have some little balls of marzipan, just to give you an idea of the size. You can really do the size you want, but this is the size of mine. And then are you ready for this really complicated trick? You take one half of one nut and you put it on one side. And then you take the other half and you put it on the other side. And then you kind of squish them so everything sticks together. And there you have it, a very hard to do <laughs> Christmas treat. Uh, I've been doing that since I was a child, so it's a good one to do with the children. And it's very nice. You need to like marzipan and walnuts though, otherwise obviously you will not like it. But yeah, that's it. So I'm going to make loads of those with all my marzipan and walnuts now while I watch the rest of The Sound of Music. And there is the finished plate of uh, the... Um, I don't know how you call them. They're called fruits de guise in French. Um, and I um, don't know what to call it in English, <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to finish to watch The Sound of Music and I might have some hot chocolate just because I feel like it and then go to bed and um, tomorrow is I don't know I've, I don't know what I'm going to I think I'm going to try to focus on packing what I can but I will see you tomorrow for another vlog and I hope you had a lovely weekend and a lovely Monday bye